Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some text manipulation. So with, there's a few functions in Excel you can use. The example I'm going to show you is with some names and extracting the first name and last name from that name. So you can see here that the names are kind of structured where the first name appears at the very beginning, has a space, and then has a last name. Then you have this one instance where it's the first name, first last name, and then a second last name space with two spaces in between. So to get the first name, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is just find that first space and then take everything up until that first space. So uh, you can use the find function and the left function for this. Find is going to find that first space position. Left function is going to give you, you know, from your text, how many characters from the beginning. So if I do find, the find text is this first space I want within the text is going to be that name and then I'm going to leave the start number blank not populate it uh, because I want to just start from the beginning so if I close it off I'll get the position of the first um, the first space and then I could use that information for the left function so if I put left left is going to say with this text return that many characters so basically the position is the number of characters so here it's gonna say if I close this off I'll get the first first name but this looks like I found Bill not necessarily if I do concatenate this and something else like a you can see that it has a space that's because I'm returning five characters way around that is I could do minus one here from the position or the number of characters to return back four characters instead of five or you can just do a trim function and trim re uh, removes any leading and trailing spaces and you can see that the there's no more space there so this you can pretty much apply all the way down for any first name if it's in that structure and without a problem uh, for last name there's a few ways you can go about this one way is with the mid function so if you do mid uh, this is the text that you want the starting position is everything beyond that first space so you want to find the first space again right within this text start at the very beginning and the number of characters is essentially you want uh, everything but what you already found. So the way you can do that is just with um, len. Len will give you the length of the entire string. And then you can subtract from what you already found by just doing the length of what you found. So the number of characters in the entire string minus the number of characters that you already found will be the leftover characters. So you just close that off and you'll get the last name plus the space that you started off of. Um, and you can just use the trim function to get rid of that space. And there you have the last name. Another way to do this is with the right function. So right is similar to le le uh, left, except that it starts from the back. And it gives you like the number of characters from the back. So you could do the same thing, text, and the same principle, where you just take the number uh, from the entire string minus... Uh, the stuff that you already found, the length of the stuff that you already found, and then close that off. And it still gives you the same stuff. And you can first do uh, trim on this to get rid of the, the first base. If we step through this with the evaluate f uh, formula feature of Excel, I'll just show you really quick. So you have write, and then that's my string that I'm working with. You have the length of that string is 10 so that's 10 characters in that including the space minus the length of the first name without the space so that's four and you subtract those two you get six so it's essentially saying um, from this string go back six characters and that's what I want and that's what I get is Smith or space Smith and then I just use the trim function to get rid of the space so you could use either of these two to get the same result uh, except in the last one. The last one uh, is returning everything beyond Garcia and I don't want that. What I want is the stuff between Garcia and Marta 
So the way I do this is by doing the mid function. Oops, sorry. Or first, I'll find the first space again in this um, in this string. So that's saying seven. So that's the first space. Then I want to find the second space from this string. So I'll just do another find formula. And this text I want to find is another space. Within the text is the same text, but the starting position is going to be um, basically from L onwards. I want to find that second. I don't want to start from the beginning. I want to start from after the first uh, blank I found to find the second one. If I don't uh, put anything and if I just close this off it's gonna give me seven again because I'm starting from the blank and that's what this is saying like start from the blank and you're gonna find the first blank so you want to put like a plus one here so you can start from L upwards so you can find that second blank so this, this gives you this basically shortens the name it cuts off Marta and says now you're working with Garcia Luna as your like full name so that's really important to do the mid because essentially you're going to be doing the same sort of concept. So you can do mid. So you can do mid of this text. Your start position is going to be um, another find space find within this text. Oh, you don't want to start number. You just want to start from the very beginning. The number of characters is basically uh, find, which is Garcia Luna minus. Um, the length of Garcia and they'll give you Luna and then you could put trim there so that's it so that those are the text manipulation features that I really hope that helps some of them are really cool and a lot of the concepts are used in programming so let me know if you like this video um, comment below thumbs up and thanks